major histocompatibility complex mhc it is a group of genes coding for set of host cell surface molecules which binds to peptide fragments derived from pathogens and display them on the host cell surface for recognition by appropriate t cells mhc was initially found in wbc's so that is why this is called as human leukocyte antigen later it was found in many tissues it also helps in transplantation of graft it determines the compatibility of the tissue between the host and the graft and hence it is called as histocompatibility complex the acceptance and the rejection of graft is directly dependent on the mhc molecules of the graft and the recipient mhc molecules determine the compatibility between the graft and the host tissues that is why it is called as histocompatibility antigens now let's see the structure and genes of mhc molecule this mhc protein is located on the short arm of chromosome 6 so the gene encoding for the mhc molecules are located on the short arm of chromosome 6 this gene has three regions the three mhc regions are region 1 region 2 and region 3 mhc 1 codes for protein a b and c and mhc region 2 codes for protein dp dq and dr major histocompatibility complex is divided into mhc1 and mhc2 the mhc1 is present in all nucleated cells except sperms and platelets mhc2 is present on the apcs that is antigen presenting cells like macrophages b lymphocytes and dendritic cells also the langer hand cells these are all the antigen presenting cells on which mhc2 is seen there is one more type mhc3 this mhc3 is not involved in the antigen presentation instead it carries the genes which codes for complement c2 c4 c3 convertase factor b and properdin so this is the function of mhc3 now let's move on to the structure of mhc molecules this is mhc1 on the left and mhc2 on the right mhc1 consists of alpha chains and beta 2 microglobulin 
where the alpha chains are folded into alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3 and it has one beta 2 microglobulin. Coming to the structure of MHC2, it contains two alpha chains and beta chains. So, the alpha has alpha 1, alpha 2 domains and beta has beta 1 and beta 2 domains. So, this cleft is the antigen peptide binding fragment between alpha 1 and alpha 2 in MHC 1 and in MHC 2 it is between alpha 1 and beta 1. So, in MHC 1 it is alpha 1 alpha 2 and in MHC 2 it is alpha 1 and beta 1. These are the antigen protein binding sites. In MHC 1 the alpha 3 molecule binds to CD8 of the cytotoxic T cells whereas in MHC2 this beta 2 domain binds to the CD4 of T helper cells. This MHC1 presents the antigen to the CD8 T cells and the MHC2 cell presents the antigen to the CD4 T cells. Coming to the regulation of MHC expressions, first is the transcription factor. transcription factors like CIITA, RFX, both of them bind to MHC2 promoter gene and thereby increases the transcription. Defect in these genes leads to bar lymphocyte syndrome. Second is the cytokines like interferon gamma, interleukin 4. Third, corticosteroids and prostaglandins. They decrease the expression of the MHC2. The corticosteroids and the prostaglandins decrease the expression of MHC2 molecules. Fourth is viral antigens. like the cytomegalovirus inhibits the beta 2 microglobulin thereby MHC1 expression is suppressed in case of viral antigens. Let us have a quick recap. Transcription factors CIITA and RFX bind to MHC2 promoter genes and increase the transcription. So, the defect in these transcription factors lead to bare lymphocyte syndrome. 
Second is cytokines like interferon gamma and interleukin 4. Third is corticosteroids and the prostaglandins which suppresses the expression of MHC2 molecules. Fourth is viral antigens like cytomegalovirus inhibit the beta 2 microglobulin leading to suppression of MHC1 expression. Now let's see the diseases associated with HLA alleles. First, disease associated with HLA B27 which are ankylosing spondylitis, reactive arthritis and Reiter's syndrome. Associated with HLA DR2 is multiple sclerosis and good pasture syndrome. Associated with HLA DR3 are myasthenia gravis and systemic lupus erythematosus SLE. Associated with DR4 is rheumatoid arthritis. With DR3 or DR4 is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. And with D HLA A3 or B14 is hereditary hemochromatosis. These are all the diseases associated with HLA alleles. This is all about major histocompatibility complex. Thank you.